My name is Cordula Schaefer. I'm a photographer. I live in Berlin and I sell my work on Unique. Uh, many of my photos were taken in New York and um, well of course that happened because I lived there um, but the, I particularly like the buildings and when I walked around there there was a lot of different architecture you have the old ones the really new ones and uh, the combination of that the, the contrasts um, that is something I really enjoy and I've, I just that is something that always uh, triggers me to, to pick up the camera and, and capture this most of the time I don't really pick my location um, I just go out and explore and see what I find. Um, for some places when I go abroad or when I'm traveling, um, I do look up certain like, sites or uh, special places in advance so that I won't miss them. When taking the picture, I think it does not really matter if the light is perfect. Uh, it's more about what I'm focusing on to take a picture of. So it might as well be like a super cloudy day, but then the clouds make everything more dramatic and then it turns into a beautiful picture without the sunlight. After taking the picture, I uh, do um, some, some processing, some editing, and I mainly focus on bringing out the colors, the contrasts more, and try not to Photoshop them too much, or I don't really um, do any retouching. I just leave the photo as it is and then change the colors. And then it becomes the final piece. What gave me the idea to work as a photographer was when I photographed Manhattan Hinge. That is um, like similar to Stonehenge, uh, the Manhattan version, when the sun uh, sets with a grid of Manhattan and you can go to Queens um, or parts of Brooklyn and then see the sunset between the buildings. And I took a photo of that and wrote a little article about it. And somehow the photo just was shared across the internet. Um, and people were liked it and were like, oh, can I get a, uh, a poster of this? My grandfather used to take photos as well, and he traveled a lot, mainly for business, but uh, used it as an opportunity to take pictures. And he was in New York as well, um, 50 years ago. and. Um, I inherited most of his cameras and, and the filters and lenses and um, still have it until today and use them. The photo Coney Island um, that I took in uh, Coney Island was one of those moments where I was in a situation where I was um, not very happy with the surroundings. I, I went to Coney Island with a friend to take photos and we were quite disappointed um, about what we found there because it was not this I don't want to say glamorous, but it was not the, the flair, the, the atmosphere of this 50s park that we expected to find. And um, so when I saw that man sitting there in this, on this empty boardwalk, and um, yeah, I just, it was one of these moments where you're like, oh, that's the perfect picture. Having moved to Berlin um, about two years ago, I still feel like a tourist in my own town when I go out uh, taking photos or go to places that I haven't been before. So you always get to see new places. When taking pictures, I try to look for geometric structures or something that makes a picture interesting. And um, at the Botanical Garden, you have these building structures um, that have a very nice symmetry. About the future, uh, who knows what the future will bring. Um, I hope to work as a full-time photographer at some point. Um, so that I won't have to take the backseat to a 9-to-5 job and that I can devote my time fully to photography.